Okay. Hi guys, this is Mrs. Gassler, and in this video we're going to talk about conservation of momentum. This is just conceptual, so math is going to come later, and that's okay. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to state the law of conservation of momentum, identify two types of collisions, and explain how the conservation of momentum applies to those collisions. And so let's get started. So we're going to talk about the law of conservation of momentum. We've done some, some conservation laws um, before. This one works exactly the same. Um, it's going to say a little bit different though, but basically, um, there we are. The total momentum before a collision is going to equal the total momentum after a collision. When we talked about the conservation of energy, we said that energy can't be created or destroyed. It's kind of the same thing here. We can't create or destroy momentum either. Um, the total energy had to be the same before and after something happened. Uh, regardless of what type of energy it was here, we only have one kind of momentum. The total momentum before a collision has to equal the total momentum after it. Mm -hmm. 